What's your pleasure? Here's your look at the new Kotobukiya Horror Bushojo series, Hellraiser 3 Hell on Earth Pinhead. The head of the Cenobite is the new addition to the growing Kotobukiya Horror Bushojo releases. Not only does Pinhead come included with the puzzle box, but also comes with a rather interesting, intricate puzzle box display stand. And you know, before we get to stepping, did you just say get to stepping? Before we get to stepping on this review, we got to get ourselves some measurements going. Something I'm more than happy to oblige for you and the members of the mob. The tape measure tells us from the bottom to the very top of Pinhead's head, you're looking at a rather impressive Bashojo statue release sitting at around 9.3, well, 9.3 inches exactly, which in centimeters works out to be 23, about 24 centimeters tall. It comes in two pieces, the first piece being, uh, well, basically an opened, folded open uh, Lamet configuration puzzle box. It's really neat, the fact that they would have taken it and kind of turned it into not only the stand, but also the backdrop in which Pinhead's going to be attached to top of. Pinhead will attach right there in this peg hole. Don't worry, I'll show you, I'll show you. And will also attach right here to the side of the cloak. Don't worry, don't worry, I'll show you that as well. What's neat about it though is it's fully finished. It reminds me very much of like the last ending scenes in which the satellite folds open or folds close in uh, Hellraiser Bloodlines, which happens to be my favorite of the, the Hellraiser films. Let me know down below what your favorite Hellraiser film is. On the back, they've fully finished this on the back, giving you almost a fleshed, plated, fleshed, covered version of the puzzle box. So I really like that it's finished on both sides. Not only do you get the intricate work of the puzzle box on the one side, but you get some pretty cool slicked looking flesh on the back. I like that they've added, like I said, that little bit of sheen to it. And while you can also see the texturing that's been added to it, all those little creviced areas have been covered over it, like glossed over with a darker kind of rosier red. Again, really does stand out. I love the sheen to that. You flip it around, and again, to attach a uh, pinhead, you're going to attach it right there. And you're going to attach it right there. So you can go ahead and just grab the statue. And you got to be very careful when it comes to the high heels. Something which I'm going to talk about immensely, extensively in this review. When you attach it in place, though, the obvious first thought I had was attaching it by the high heel. Well, actually, no, it attaches via the peg that's located in between her foot. Now, it does actually look like she's holding it. Rather, it's not been wedged into her foot, so I kind of like that. You attach it just like that. You can also do this as the secondary step if you want to. And then just on the side of her cape or the bottom of her skirting, you can see that there is a similar enough shape, similar enough to the one that's on the side of the puzzle box, where you're gonna attach the two in place. Just apply a little bit of pressure. I'm a little weary when it comes to detaching this, uh, immediately removing this to proceed with showing you guys the two different two halved components. I did really want to 
I was a little worried about taking this off, but it doesn't seem like it's too much of a hiccup. I was worried that the plate would break off because I'm prying it back. You actually don't even have to pry it back, just kind of wiggle it off of itself. And just attach that in place. Not only does the display stand hold up pinhead, but actually it kind of works the opposite way around as well. Pinhead aids to keep the display stand propped up as well. Now, you know I'm a big fan of the Kotobukiya lines, the horror bus shoujos specifically, having covered off, I think, pretty much all of them. I think the only one I didn't manage to pick up, simply just because it wasn't available and I have yet to be ordering it in, is the Edward Scissorhands, which I know some would debate whether it would be an actual true release of a horror character, and not simply just a fantasy character, but nonetheless, we've looked at uh, Jason, we've looked at Freddy, we've looked at Chucky, we've looked at Tiffany, and then most recently, we also had a look at Ash from Evil Dead. The upcoming release, the one I'm most excited about, is uh, Michael Myers. But we don't want to get ahead of ourselves here, because like I said, there's a there is a lot to cover off here on this new female version of Pinhead. And I guess what we could always start with is starting with the head and kind of working our way down. That's probably the best place as any. You can see Pinhead most fittingly represented by pins lodged and wedged into her face. Uh, it still retains some level of a pretty looking demeanor, a pretty looking exterior of her face. The only one complaining issue that I have, and it's not even so much uh, necessarily a complaining issue, but while it does have pins, I'll granted give it that, the pins are lodged into her face, as we've already discussed. But I do find that the pins could have been maybe a little bit thinner. Maybe this is as thick or as thin, I should say, as they could have gotten it without running the risk that any one of these pins could bend in the process. But I do find like the thickness of the pins from a distance sort of does detract a little bit from her face. If only these pins were just a slight bit thinner or a slight bit longer, I feel like it would be far enough away from her face that you wouldn't lose some of the sculpt. I don't feel like you lose sculpt necessarily, but like I said, if those pins were just a little bit thinner, you probably could see the face a little clearer. I like the, face, the fact that the face does have a slight purple tint. I'm not sure if the camera's picking that up or not. I like also the fact that she's looking this way, off to the angle, as opposed to looking straight on. It sort of lends itself a lot of the times with these Bush Shoujo releases as to which way you're going to be displaying it. You could ultimately display it front on, but I think due to the way it's turned, due to the way that she's holding the puzzle box, and due to, of course, the way that her head is angled, you probably would be wanting to entertain the idea of having her displayed like this, so that she could kind of be looking at you directly, kind of very eerily looking at you directly. So again, I really do like the head sculpt. Be it for again, I wish that the pins were just a little bit thinner so it didn't detract too much from her face, because the, like, the pins are really close uh, to the surface of her skin. Glorious, glorious, beautiful head sculpt, though, on Pinhead here. Um, as you can see, in the be between three fingers, sort of like a tripod of holding, she's got herself the puzzle box, the Lama Configuration puzzle box, which, as you can see, is just perched atop of those fingers. Some of the paint, unfortunately, gets lost, um, or the fact that they didn't really add enough of the black wash to it. Some of the, the more... I guess notable, noticeable sides get some afforded paint. I feel like a little bit on the top could have gone a little bit extra, maybe just a little bit more generous on the top there. She is uh, wearing, despite the fact that it's now a female, wearing the cladded outfit of Pinhead. Uh, it's a pretty much faithful creation or recreation to the one that Pinhead would wear in the film. So of course he's a guy, this is a female. Uh, some of the notable things, of course, are the peeled away flesh that he has on the top section of his torso. Now, this has been proportionately increased for this being a female incarnation, but it's sort of still the same way, same thing in place. You've got the peeled away flesh, and it's sort of been pinned down. Also, there's that pin that's running through the belly button section, which does have sporting, again, this fantastic airbrushing here you got the blue it gets a little bit less the blue up here although to be fair it's there's a little bit of the blue around the eyes that kind of make the eyes glow in the process 
primarily all the figure is mostly black or well, costume wise I should say is black one really neat feature about it going back to the high heels is the fact that the high heels themselves are basically rods or spikes that have been burrowed through literally through the heel of pinhead it causes it to look obviously like she's now standing on it though it's a little bit higher unfortunately like the peg is or the foot I should say could have been maybe arched a little bit more that the heel could have sat closer to the base but it does look I guess if anything like she's maybe on her tippy toes so the heel maybe shouldn't even be close to touching the surface anyways so maybe I'll retract that opinion it's a nice paint additional paint has been added around the bloodied areas kind of the cuticle areas of the toenails also has that same sort of color palette for the fingers which is something that uh, is a trademark go-to a trademark item for uh, for pinhead that you can check off there is the one open foot fully visible undersole of the foot there where you can see again that spike stuck right through it oh that's got to be painful um, there is some noticeable flesh obviously places of which that pinhead wouldn't normally have had flesh showing primarily her well her behind is a little bit more visible sort of a kind of a hellish version if you will if you can really consider it kind of like Marilyn Monroe if you will except it I'm not certain it's probably the air from the vents blowing up the dress instead it's probably just the fiery ashes and stuff coming up from hell blowing up the skirt one thing that I will give as a plus to this figure is there's a lot of flow to it there's a lot of dramatic kind of folds and creases things kind of dancing on their own primarily it's really the skirt while the pose is playful for pinhead it's really the skirt that has the life of its own it doesn't have a whole lot of paint to it sticking strictly to more so black it almost kind of looks like a bat wing where you can see like the individual hinges or spines the creases and the areas in which the the skirt has been stitched up kind of look like the the fingerlings the finger bones of the bat in the wing I kind of think that's a neat effect the ringlets here are done in silver with a little bit of the snaps also painted in silver so not all of it is solely black there's enough dancing around here with different colors of the blacks and the whites but then you've got the silver that just kind of adds a little bit extra oomph to this statue there's the back there trademark corset on the back stitched up and you can also see the neck collar that as far as I know has actually been pinned to the back of pinhead here actually doesn't seem to be pinned but instead exchanged for what looks to be these little ringlets that are on the back kind of wedged or stitched into the back section of uh, pinhead also appears that she's got herself some earrings something of which of course would have been omitted for the male counterparts of pinhead again overall a really spectacular looking statue this one I think lends itself the best to the horror Bishojo line pinhead has a lot of true cool little intricacies to it that I think works well first of all as a female and second of all as a Kotobukiya Bishojo release normally for final looks I would showcase the figure along with the box facing forward but I decided to do something a little bit different this go around this artwork featured on the side of the box that you would have only really seen in the box turnaround at the beginning of this review showcases some really neat artwork for what this female pinhead could have looked like again it translates well to the actual statue when you look at them side by side again the only real criticism and this is the smallest of criticisms that I can make for the statue because everything else on the statue is done so well I would have loved to have seen those pins just a little bit thinner I mean you can see even in the artwork that the face is a little bit more visible maybe they could have also darkened those pins a little bit maybe making them closer to being a very dark gunmetal gray instead of the light gray that we ultimately got here that's the only thing I would have changed differently to this figure to an otherwise spectacular ghoulish release of pinhead as a horror but shoujo uh, good news though if you guys are interested in picking this one up for yourself it should be hitting comic book stores right now so if you are interested in picking up the new Kotobukiya the shoujo release of the Hellraiser 3 hell on earth pinhead which always seems to be the one Hellraiser that they always seem to pull for collectibles I guess it's just due to the licensing 
This one, like I said, is available in comic book stores. You may not be able to find, unfortunately, the other Bashojo releases, but if you wanted to see what those look like, I encourage you, feel free to go back and check out my reviews of the other Kotobukiya Horror Bashojo's statues. Like I said, there's about six or so of them with the upcoming release of Michael Myers, which is the one I'm really, really looking forward to. Of course, when I do pick that one up, a review of that one will also follow. Speaking of also upcoming things, make sure uh, you're stay tuned to this channel and subscribing if you haven't done so already, because I've got a whole bunch of upcoming reviews lined up. I don't, I can't tell you what they are. Gotta like to keep things for a surprise. But rest assured, there's gonna be some things that you guys are probably gonna be quite interested in. So stay tuned to this channel Keep those eyes peeled. It's really gross. And make sure you hit that little subscribe button down below. As always, guys, thanks for watching, as you always do. If you have managed, by the way, to pick up the Pinhead Horba Shoujo for your release, for yourself, as it, was, as, it, as it has already been released, there you go. Let me know down below what you guys think of this statue. I was like reading and thinking and seeing other people's opinions when it comes to these other statues or other collectibles. I was like getting into discussions with other people and people who are have similar passions as I do. So let me know down below if you managed to pick up this statue for yourself and I'll see you guys next time.